Okay, we're back on the bike again today. Nice, bright, sunny day in California. Looks like shit. Don't need that, Dan. Alright. Okay, Dan, I had Dan take his carburetor off and his tanks and the uh, front lifter block so we can see what our major problems were, which is bad running carburetor, leaky ass fuel tanks, and leaky ass push rod covers. So there's the inside of the motor. This stuff all looks okay in there. Don't see any real damage to anything. You got a little bit of a nick in here, which is just see where should take care of that. He's got these aluminum lifter blocks here, which are correct for 49. They all look fairly good. But what I did find is that each one of the corks has a slit in it right here. So that one's slit, and then this one over here has got a little fine one right there. So I'm thinking that's enough to make it seep oil up past them. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, the gas and all that looks good. Everything else looks good. The uh, lifters are over there. They look good too. So I think that's not a problem. So you lost that ball out here? It's out here. Let's sweep the floor out. Yeah, sweep the floor out. Uh, that's how I find stuff. Clean the floor, you find it. Yeah. Okay, so there's the intake manifold. That all looks okay. How's the throttle working right now? The throttle says we're working okay. It's not hooked up to the carburetor. I know, but how's it work? Is it nice and free, not bound up? Yeah, nice and free. So like we figured, it's in linkage. It's not here. This works pretty good. We got a lot of travel. So, yeah, so it's all in the mechanical linkage of that thing. All right. So I'd say put some sealer on the cover here so it won't leak past that bad spot. Uh -huh. Put some gasket pinch on there. You can go ahead and put that back in there. We'll get you a couple new corks to put in there. And then the other problem is your push rod covers are bad. So you know which push rod's which, don't you? Pull that one off. I think that cork's too tight. So we'll have to look and see why that's not working too. Okay, so we're gonna clean up all these covers. Okay, this one cover here is pretty uh, chewed up right through here on the bottom. I'll give it on my finger. And I think there's some issues there. So I'm gonna go see about refitting that cork to be, a cover to be a little bit flatter and get the cork to work. You see how this one's more radius than this one is? This one's more flat. So you gotta clean these up. No, grab those two, you gotta clean them up. All right, so I don't need to push rods, I don't need to cover. All right, now I'm going to take the carburetor inside, I'm going to take it apart and see if we find what's going on with that. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to work on these covers here a little bit. So I found me a washer. To, it's just a, I don't know what it is. Quick ass washer. So we're going to put this around here and try to beat this flange flat. Like that. This should give me something flat to beat against, it'd be pretty good. All right. And then you had the other cover that was bad on the tubing. Which one was that? Had a couple dimples on the inside here, right here. Yeah. A little bit right there. I think the red one was worse than this one. Oh, and this is the one that's really chewed up over here. So, all right, so we're going to work on these. So, Dan gets to jiggle. If you jiggle too much, okay. we have to limit your jiggling. There you go. Yeah, that limits your jiggling. Okay. I haven't listened to comments yet, so I don't know how bad you are. Alright. We'll walk in here one time. And the first thing I do is see about fixing these covers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the extension here official tool that we need. There we go. Okay, so you figure out where you're gonna beat on it. Beat on it. This covers right down here, it's got a bad spot. Right there. You have to see where that's at. B 
be going that way so it's solid. If you beat this way, it just drops. Give it up. A lot looser. Stay. Okay, we got this one. A little bit of a crease there, but everything else is over here. Face hammer here. So. Uh -huh. Don't say that. How about your marks on it? No. That works a little better. Than that. Yeah. Working up and down now. Okay. Maybe this will stop the leak. That was going up and down freely in there now. This one's not. See how it's sticking in there? So we got to work on that part too. See. Usually what happens on these is the cork is so tight it will go inside the cover. So usually what I do is take it in the grinder, grind the uh, exterior of the cork down a little bit. Uh -huh. See how it's all torn on the edge there? So I just put it on the grinder, spin it like that in the grinder and it knocks it down even and the cover will go up and down freely. Okay. Usually how I do that stuff. Because that one won't go in there, see. Is the other one okay? This one works fine. They actually make these carbs in different ODs. Different years. Okay, now this one's radius shaped. And this one's bevel shaped like this. Uh -huh. This one is all chewed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat them on you know, the lathe over there with a smooth hammer. And here we use this as a backer. Yeah, you see that? So we can even put a little bit of a cup shape because this has a little bit of bevel to it. So I don't want to go this way, I want it to be beveled this way. So we're going to use this side here, like that, and just knock this down here flat, and it should knock this even all the way around, hopefully make it usable. We'll burn this side down. Okay, so you go down until you touch the cover, back off a little bit. Do you sell Harley covers from aftermarket covers? Okay, now it's rough in the chrome, but it's all more or less flat now. Yeah, who cares about the chrome? Well, I gotta go back and grind it a little bit to get all the chrome off. Make it dead flat. Okay, so this is the one that was radius. So the bevel was this way. Now this has loose clearance in here, so it's only hitting on the bottom. Because this is sitting down, that keeps running up support good. One. 
feels nice and smooth all the way around. Yeah. So I go back and grind them flat, and it should be good. This surface over here, you feel it. If there's no dimples on it, it should be good. This one feels good. This one I can't fix too much when they're bad up in here. These all feel good. And the cork only hits right on the edge here, so it doesn't really matter if it's too bad on the inside, as long as the red is still good. Okay, so now we just got to get this flattened out here, get rid of all this chrome that's flaking off. And we should be good to go. And there should be a little bit of a bevel to this when you look at it. Like this. We'll see. All right, we'll be back. There it is. Okay, I just got done doing the other side. I forgot to do the uppers here. So I got a different washer. So this one's now flat on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on this one. See how the difference is. So this one, you're just making it flat because I don't have a beveled washer. It doesn't really matter. A little bit flatter now. Yeah, a lot flatter. Yep. Maybe it's to stop the leak. Okay, you're on. I'm live. Yep. This one, it doesn't fit very well. Hmm. Tight. Now we're just going to go ahead and spin this a little bit. Why'd you leave the coffee? Leave the camera going, Dan. Falling asleep over there? Yeah. At least shut it off, you can ignore it. Okay, he missed the grinding because he walked away. Okay, I ground the uh, cork a little bit on the outside. But the cover's tight in here, too, a little bit. Right on, right on the edge here. So I'm going to go lightly grind this here a little bit too. Take this surface here and grind it a little bit. You see a nice even surface. I'm not seeing an even surface yet though. Uh -huh.
Nice flat all the way around the outside here. Swing back. Yep. Still tight, huh? Yeah. Let's go into this covers tight. I don't want to keep grinding this down if I didn't have to, but the OD on the cork here is still pretty tight too. Take a little more of that off too. Oh, good. There you go. You got it now. You're looking at it over here. That's it. So, yeah, now it's working pretty like it's supposed to. Give me the other cover. Another one? Yeah, give me the other one over there. We'll grind them all flat. See a flat area all the way across the surface. This one is all full of chrome. Sharp edge. All right, so these are all fixed now. You go clean these, put them on the bike. They're on. Okay, I got two of the good style corks. These are the kind of neoprene style ones that are got a lot of rubber embedded into the cork material. So these are the best corks. So you make sure these fit tight in the holes on the OD. They're not slightly, they're just a tick looser than what the uh, block is, they're close. When the corks are way undersized on the OD, they usually tend to leak a lot. So, see the camera here. Uh, where's it at? Wrong view. Okay, <clears throat> camera went off. All right, so there's your oil drain hole right there. On these, it just has a groove. Goes down there, but you want to make sure the cork completely covers up the hole. On the later block, you have a hole that goes down pretty far next to the edge over here, and it'll leak past the OD, the cork, and the cork's loose. So these corks only have about 15 or 20 style clearance on, which is good. And the other one's over there on the other side somewhere. There it is. There's its groove right there. So now with the flat covers and everything, hopefully all this stuff seals up correctly now. 
you should have a problem. Make sure everything fits in there. Sometimes these have actually been too tight inside the blocks. That's an issue. Easier to really loose like this. So this all looks like it should seal up now correctly. What do you got for up in a the cork there? Those are old ones up there. Yep. So I'm going to redo these corks because I redid the face on the, on the other part. All right. So I'll put new corks on the top here for you also. Where's your other ones at? I'm gonna go grab two more of those. Okay, I got yeah. two new corks here to put on the top. You weren't leaking on the top. You could readjust all that area. So. Yeah. Okay, so. Middle should be fine. Okay, all of those work. Which one's different? One right longer. Where's it go? It goes in the uh, front. Yeah, we're in the front, yes. It was an exhaust, I mean. Front exhaust, there you go. There's your small end. There's your big end. Take big end goes up, right? Yep. Take the lid off, though. There's a hole. Here you go. Do you hate that when they're tight? It takes longer to do the job, yeah. I know, it takes longer to do the job. More, more fucking time consuming and everything. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, I got an idea uh, for tonight. Throw it away by a panhead? Yeah. Uh, don't tell them what camera we're going to do. Okay. They don't even know what you're going to do tonight. Okay. No, I'm not going to go get drunk with you. <laughs> You're not? No. Nope. Come on, Tatro. No. Nope. Get drunk with us. No. Nope. We can go to a titty bar and watch the girls flop their titties around. No. Nope. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. drag going over the top but it's loose right here where it goes. For you that's where you like it. Right? So just a tick more players. There's a difference. There you go. 
Okay, that one's done. Did you forget to put the cork in there? Oh, you put it in. Okay. <laughs> I seen you. I seen you do it. I've done that before. Yeah. I'm going to put the big end on top. Yeah. Not the bottom. Oh, well, we didn't turn the motor over, did we? No. Did I forget to do that? No. Plugs in it? Plugs are in it. Turn over easy with parts while we're doing. Want to take them out? It'd be nice. I'm going to turn them all over. What size are they? It's called spark plug socket. Is it a spark plug socket? It's in there. Where's right the wrench? No. 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 What's no. That? Yeah, just use a wrench, huh? 13 16 Spark plug tool. Uh, yeah, I've got, the, I've got the wrench in my Hey, dumbass. i got the wrench in my bag. Hey, too. dumbass. You need that too? Yeah, as well, guys, I got a, uh, I got a wrench. In the, uh... You don't use a wrench to take a plug out, that's stupid, because it breaks the pins off. Does it? You use the wrench on the end of the spark plug socket, that's why there's a hex on it. Okay. And you have a nice large amount of leverage there, which works really, really well. You just pull on it really easy. See how easy that is? Yeah. That's a lot easier to do with the other one. Okay, now we need a Phillips screwdriver, like that. Plugs are out. Plug out? Plugs are out. What's the, what's the compression ratio on this? Here you go. I don't know what it is. Is that, is that squeezing compression out? Yeah. Is that quite moving now? Probably all the way up now, right? Yeah. Now we can adjust the valve over here. Of course, now I got to recheck the intake because now I'm in the right spot. See, now the valve is tight. See, now it's a little snug. So it's too tight now. I got to readjust the intake now because where I want the valve to be firing, I adjust the valve so when the motor is actually running, we want the valve closed all the way. Right now, the valve is tight. It's, it kind of moves, but it's got about an extra thou, less clearance than I had before. So now the valve's tight. So that's not a good thing. So I don't care where it's supposed to be adjusted at. I adjust that right here. Okay. Let's Okay for most people, but it's a little bit tight for you. Move it. Bring up a little bit. Big difference. You know, I barely even move the nut. That's a big difference. So this one doesn't like to come in and out, does it? Huh? This one doesn't like to come in and out, does it? No. Uh -uh. Force it in. You know why, don't you? Why? This is a damn Bordeaux bike. Because your valves are sunk way to hell in the head. Are they? It just takes out all your rocker arm clearance. Why was the heads were bad? No, they're used, not bad. I know they're used, but I don't know if they were. 
They were fixable. The valves go up in the heads, the rock turns go like that. Lift it go, push rods go down like this, and they jam in here. So then the length becomes here instead of way up here. So the push rods don't fit. That's how you know the valve's been done a few times. So these are not brand new heads in here. Nope. Those are very worn heads. That's I don't even know what year they are. That probably surprised you a lot knowing that, didn't it? I don't even know what year those are. Those are probably 50 castings by looking at them just for a minute. I don't see all this goofy ass shit they did in 48 over in the front over there. The casting galleries that are in there, core, the core galleries. And they're overing, I mean they're not overing, they're plumbers, so I know they're early, before 55. So that makes it a 50 casting. 50 casting? reach around over and see a bunch of weird shield in the front corner over there and I know it's 48 casting. It'd be alright if there was a 49 casting. Not a 49 casting. 48 and 50. Then you go in there looking for the date code after that if you want to get closer. It doesn't matter. They're all about the same. They all break and get bad. Just the early ones do it quicker in the back. They wait a little bit. Okay, that was a little, a little bit too loose. So you're gonna adjust both. Tighten it up a little bit, and then we tighten both. That works so good. We're gonna do it again. That's it, huh? Yeah, a little bit more drag than I like for you. So we're just going to tighten both just a little bit more. <clears throat> How much is that? Cut here. Okay. That helped, but a little bit more than I like. So we're going to try to break the lifter. Just some more. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's better. Light drag, but you can spin it real all right. Where's my medium sugar? Okay, now hopefully this stops the leak. Yeah, I hope so. I've been dealing with that leak ever since I think got this thing running. I've had that front cylinder off two or three different times, and yeah, it's just fucking driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. And now that bike got so fucking hot last night, it was about to fucking blow up. I don't know why it got so hot. I was thinking maybe it advanced too much. The distributor was advanced too much and you got, it got so hot. Yeah, that must be it. Who did the timing? Yeah, the potato did the timing, so oh, it's not, right it's not off. Blame on that guy. He's the one that did it. Last guy touched it when it screwed it all up, right? when I'm rotating it there. Okay, so those are in there. We know the strippers in there. We know this is all screwed up. It's a free roll right here. Yeah, it's not very free when you got the rest of them. Mm -hmm. What are they working on? Oh, the gas tank. Okay. Uh, the carburetor. Where's the carbonator at? I got it right. Yeah. Off here. Right here. Get the gas all out, I'm going to dump on my leg. No, it's all out. Okay, so. Got a little gas in it still. It says all out. Thought it was. <laughs> still coming, huh? Well, I believe the customers. Good job, Dan. It's all out. Pretty close out. So it looks pretty free. Not flush. Okay. That's it. Let's get a camera shot of that. See how flat it is? It's rocking and rolling over there. So 
Yeah, but this isn't flat or that ain't flat or both. I was using some pretty thick gaskets. I can tell you needed them. You don't see the very thick scratch marks in here. Alright, so that's some of the issues. Okay, the next issue is it doesn't line up with a squat. So why do we got this clamp over here like this? Why can't we do something different? Let me get this thing over there someplace. And the alignment sucks. Make this out of. Just a, uh, a cable clamp. Well, this thing's really tight in here, isn't it? Okay, you got a little Allen for here? Yeah, just some Allen's right here. We had one. Yeah. All the others are messing around it. Okay. Okay, so see how you get this thing rooted? Yeah. Camera. Coming down through here. Going through here, then you make a hard turn. Going that way, you make a big loop over here. And you come back through here. And then this had an S bend over here like this. So this needs to be over here where my finger is to line up with the throttle. And this cable here needs to be at least on the other side of this to take some of this angle out of it. Now you should be able to go around the other side without a problem. What do you get on the other side? You got anything over there in the way? Appears to be wide open over there. The cable is a little bit short. We do much changing. You got nut over there? No. Just a long bolt. Oh, that loosened it up, didn't it? It helps a little bit. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. That loosened it up. This bracket needs to be bent a little bit to relieve some of this tension. But what we really need to do is call on the other side of the bike. That way you eliminate having this bow like this. It can run around the other side of the frame more straight. What do you got holding this all down in there? Here's a wire tie. A wire tie on the motor mount. Oh, you can hold that on? Just a bolt, just a nut. Another zip tie over there, yeah. Yeah, just a nut holding that on. Okay, why don't you give me my little sockets up there and find to figure out what you got here. Okay, why don't you go on the other side and cut the zip tie off. Okay. Probably a pair of dikes over there to work with. Yeah, so. Sucked 
Couldn't really even hold it. All it is is a guide. See that? I bought those, right? And they were 448, and these are 48 wires, but the, the clamp is still too big. Good there, Dan. I'll leave it out here. Yeah. Anything, Dan? Did we make that fly like that? Yeah. Bring that down. You can see a little better. See now you can see what I'm doing. See. Okay, we need to get through this hole over here, but I don't know how we're gonna do that without causing a big issue with the throttle. Okay. I'm gonna try to come straight through like this. Put your hands in there and catch the other side. See where it's coming through? No, I don't. I'm hitting the back side of Springer Spring. Can you reach up in there and pull it around? I, I can't grab it. Okay, there I'm holding it. It's coming out the back side. Can you grab it? There it is right there. No, I still can't grab it. Is there wires over there? What's the problem? Yeah. No, there's no wire. I just, there's no room to grab it. There it is. I got it now. Yeah, yeah, I got it now. Okay, pull it on out. Okay. Okay, is it going to get in the way of anything over there when it goes full lock? Well, if we keep it down low, yeah, it'll be okay. It's going to be down low. It's going to be in the hard way. Okay, let go. if I could get a better thing of attack on what the motor mount is, but I'm trying to figure out a way I can get over here to do this. My limited amount of space. That would work there. Be kind of tight on that, but carburetor out. What we try to do is figure out the best angle of attack here for this thing. Too good either. When I first put it all together, it worked out oh, pretty good, but then I, I had to take it off so many fucking times. How come you didn't go to the bottom down here like a regular bracket? Yeah. Uh, just, the bolt wasn't long enough. Well, they make longer bolts. Center bolt wasn't long enough. They make longer bolts, you know. Herbert's going downhill, isn't it? It looks like it. Where you want to loosen up the manifold? Well, the cable works really good in this angle here if we can hold it somehow, but I'm trying to figure out how we're going to hold it. The carbon needs to go up to be flat. So hold it with wire ties. 
way up here. We can actually hold the cable so they can't move back and forth. So you go ahead and work the throttle. Smooth. Smooth, isn't it? Real smooth. Yeah, looks like it's supposed to be. Imagine that. You take all the binding out of stuff, it works. <laughs> okay, so we need some kind of a drop bracket coming down here that will catch this in a 45. That'll be perfect for the cable. And then we'll just bend this back over here somehow until we get some kind of an idea where we can hold it. Not unless you can zip tie it to the frame. Okay, then we can work on this bracket a little bit figure this out. Okay, we'll be back on this project.